Hello, my name is Randall Jones and this is my personal teaching philosophy video reflection. How does my teaching philosophy embody the College of Education philosophy to learn, lead, and serve? First and foremost, as an educator, it is my duty to not only teach, but to also be educated as well in the manner in which I can present new and more engaging information to my students. In order to do this, I have to actively remain ever vigilant that I am learning and increasing my content knowledge in my subject area. I have to display leadership skills as an example to my students of the proper way to act, what is expected of them, and how to achieve and maintain those high expectations. And in the area of service, we have to remember that as educators, we are in this profession to serve. It is a, one of the basic tenets, foundations of our society, the way I look at it. We need education to proceed in everything. And without the teacher who is there to deliver that education and it's our duty to serve and provide him that role as a servicer of facilitating education. My philosophy has developed and grown throughout the student teaching process is with this, during this process of this class, I've gained new insights, new techniques, and in, in some instances, new material of how to not only develop, but also implement, reflect upon, and re-implement a lesson. Um, the hands-on experience has been wonderful, as well as having that mentor that you can guide and talk to when you need help. Um, how can technology be used to create better learning opportunities for all students? Since the onset of COVID, uh, most of our education has been leaning towards online learning and the use of more technology in the classroom. I was kind of forced to become more proficient in my use of technology and the proper way to implement it, other than just using it as a busy work tool. I now use it as a way to assign assessments, um, judge and student development, and also track and keep data. So technology has been used in my opinion, in my classroom during this to create better learning opportunities for all students because with that data, I can then develop more accurately, more detailed lesson plans that accurately reach and assess and target the areas of need for those specific students. And how I implement the Christian worldview values of compassion, promoting human flourishing, and behaving legally and ethically in my future classroom. As a Christian, it is my belief and value that everybody is valuable. Nobody's invaluable, and there's only one person who was ever infallible. Um, I have to understand that we all make mistakes and we all need compassion. Many of our students come here with low self-esteem, and that could be from frustration from being in general ed classrooms, or it could be from just overall frustration in their home life and community. We have to be that compassionate source, that area that's there and safe for them. Um, when I, holding high expectations will allow our students to flourish and maintaining those high expectations will ensure that we expect them to flourish. Ms. Weatherhead, if you're in the building, please call 704. Ms. Weatherhead, 704, please. As far as behavior in the classroom, we have to behave legally and ethically at all times. Um, we have to be aware that we are the adults and they are the students. And we cannot abuse that right, and nor should we abuse that right. Um, we have to treat them with respect while commanding respect at all times. And there has to be some boundaries drawn. Um, and with that, 
with legally obligation, we also have to remember to keep their confidential information confidential, only sharing it with those who have the right to view that information and not all of that information. Some of those people will include those on the IEP team and their parents and any other person who is in gen ed or special ed who works with said child. Those are the only ones legally allowed to view that information. Other than that, that should be deemed confidential and kept confidential in a safe and secure area. And that will help us maintain our legal and ethical obligations as well. Thank you. Good night.